Every week, we scour the internet to find the most amazing, creative, and jaw-dropping content developed in Unity. This is Game Dev HQ, and enjoy the best of made with Unity. Here's a first quick look inside the cabin by Inkakamu. We are still alive and the rum is gone by Kitty in a Box. Weapon Strike by Angel. Updated the game and added bots by Thomas. Repairing a spaceship with updated particle effects by Adam. Quick video covering some of the features in Fall Frontier by Stutter Fox Studios. Falling Frontier is a modern real-time strategy game that mixes classic RTS mechanics with a depth usually associated with the 4X genre. Your journey starts by selecting your lineage, this provides a backstory, as well as initial buffs, debuffs, and initial starting technological configurations. You'll begin your game with control of a single planet, or moon with a small group of colonists and a spaceport in orbit. From here you can begin expansion into the star system, Build shipyards for both your civilian and military fleets. Construct orbital and deep space refineries to process raw materials. Position refueling stations in strategic locations to provide a gateway to the surrounding planetary bodies. Create a network of supply depots to transfer physicalized resources to where they are needed most. Whether that be a spaceport, shipyard or a front-lying supply station, supporting the war effort. Carry out research to unlock ship chassis and use the robust ship designer system, to upgrade existing ship templates, or to modify individual units to suit a specific combat purpose. View the ship from any angle and select from a list of researched weaponry mounts to place on each chassis. Customization isn't limited to the external hull. Modify internal components for each ship, to complement the role it was designed for. Construct reconnaissance stations to scan your local celestial cluster, or areas of deep space, these can be configured in both a passive and active mode. Passive mode intercepts jump signatures made within the line of sight of the station, whereas active scanning, acts like a sonar, sending out a pulse beam returning all objects within its line of sight, but also giving away its position.
Really proud of this Take On Me inspired shader by Brent. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to be notified about upcoming videos and use the Twitter hashtag MadeWithUnity to possibly be featured on our upcoming videos. This is GameDevHQ.com and we're out of here. See you next week.